Hey y'all, so today we are going to be doing some strawberry crunch cupcakes, just some regular ones, no cheesecake included. I am gonna do a video soon with making them with cheesecake. So first I'm just gonna get my wet ingredients. I'm gonna add a one cup of water, half cup of oil and three eggs. And then I'm going to pour one box of strawberry cake mix in here. Um, yeah. Also, for this whole video, I will say all you're going to need is one box of strawberry cake mix, any brand you prefer, three eggs, some oil, some water, some unsalted butter, some strawberry crunch, some powdered sugar, and some strawberries. So I won't go over how to make the actual crunch in this video. I already have a video up on making that. So if you go to my channel, you'll be able to find that. I'll try to put the link in the bio too, so y'all can click that. And then once I have my strawberry cake mix added in here, I am going to just mix everything together. I'm also doing like a voiceover. Like I recorded this video and my kids was in the background a little loud, so. I didn't want to be talking at the time. my cupcake pan and I'm just gonna add in the mix with the little ice cream scooper I only have one cupcake pan at home so I'm just gonna be making 12 cupcakes but the box will let y'all make 24 cupcakes so go ahead and make 24 cupcakes with all the mix or with the other half you can make a little cake or something but yep gonna make the buttercream icing i'm gonna add two sticks of unsalted butter in here and it's softened at room temperature so that it's not too cold if you use some cold butter it's not gonna really work out for your buttercream icing let me turn this game off my left phone because it's making so much noise and then i'm gonna mix that butter together just until it gets to be lighter in color, not so yellow. And I'm going to add powdered sugar in. I'm going to be adding in three cups of powdered sugar. I'm not really measuring, but 
I never really do for most stuff. Unless it's like a new recipe I'm doing. But yeah, y'all can use three cups of powdered sugar. You're going to add that in. And then you're going to get some French vanilla coffee creamer. The liquid coffee creamer to pour on top of the powdered sugar. Um, if you mix that powdered sugar in without it, it might start to fly. But it might not, depending on the speed you put it on. Mine's didn't, but I'm just going to pour this coffee creamer in now. And then once all the powdered sugar kind of sifts into the butter, I then turn the speed up higher. But I don't like to put it on too high of a speed when I first put that powdered sugar in because it will make a big mess. Yeah, and I'm just going to let all that mix together and blend in till it's nice and white looking. And then once it is done mixing, I'm just going to put it into a piping bag to use for our cupcakes. Okay, so I have my piping bag. I'm going to cut the tip off so I can insert my piping tip in there. Look at my son picking that up and throwing it away for his mama. <laughs> These are some small piping bags I got from the grocery store, but when I'm working in a bakery, we have some bigger bags. These are probably like an 18-inch or a 16-inch. I prefer to use like a... 21 inch i want to say these bags are probably 16 because they pretty small might be a 12 inch but yeah it don't matter whatever piping bag you got will work so the cupcakes came out the oven you want to let those cool off for a little while even though i didn't my youngest son started crying so i was trying to hurry up um, I'm just adding some icing onto there. You can't really see it with this cupcake, and I didn't realize that. I'm using a butter knife to rub it on there because we are going to coat that part and crunch. So, yeah, just rubbing that on there. If you want, you could just ice in the regular, like just pipe the icing on there right now. But y'all going to see what I mean. Or I honestly could have used the round piping tip to just add the icing on there and then um, rolled it in the crunch still. But yeah, so now we are going to roll the cupcakes in the crunch, cover them in the strawberry crunch. And again, I have a video on my channel of this. I'm going to put the link in the description box of this video so y'all can see. Okay, so those are all covered now. We are going to add some buttercream icing on top of them. And then I got some strawberries right here that I'm going to slice up to put on top of that buttercream icing that we put on there. I like to get the pointy strawberries and slice it right down the middle so that it got a cute look. You know, it's some fat, chunky strawberries that don't always look right when you put it on products, if you know what I mean. You know, these are the cute strawberries that you wanna use. 
Okay, so now I got my piping bag and I'm just going to put a little bit of icing on the top because we already got some under the crunch. And then I'm just going to stick that strawberry right on top. And that's it. We got our cupcakes. I think products look so much better when you bring them outside into that natural sunlight. Whoo, delicious.